are you doing every young man young woman wherever you are i believe that you're keeping safe karibu sana to uh, again our tuesday night hangout i believe that you enjoyed last time Woo! it was fire and i can tell you we have so much more for you and you know we love you so much and you know it's amazing that now our tuesday service or our tuesday night are no longer boring this is where we get to catch up this is where we get to interact this is where we get to share and so we would love to know where are you watching us from yes comment on our comment section at a size i comment just tell us where you are watching us from and you know we believe that god is doing an amazing thing even in this time Last Last time we had a good time we had you know from some few people where they were at what they were doing and i believe we would love to hear some more so here is our testimonials for this hour amen hi guys it's your girl linsley representing from gara and i just wanted to let you guys know like how much i miss you and how i'm spending my quarantine monday i've been doing a lot of reading and like reading the word of god reading novels and like i've really been spending more time with god uh, than i used to and actually it's been good for me so i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are keeping safe and i just wanted to encourage you that all this will be over soon no matter how long it takes and that god is still on the throne and that we should never forget that maintain a positive attitude like keep yourself pushing and going yeah don't be sad and all that i know when we come back to church we'll be bigger and better and we'll support one another like never before so i just wanted to let you guys know that i miss you and i miss church and i love you guys so much what's up what's up my people it's your boy kalesto kenya representing kenya gospel artists representing christ to the fullest and I talk I'm trying to get on representing for Tanyayo for now and Christ the Kondani tena sana so either me corona mazejo ina mi chat yeah na mi present worship na mi all in it na kwa na my youth yani and sasa hivi tu tena kwa mimi ni pia ni vitu za Instagram au kwa so for now stay safe manzeo na kwa home remember that is God so na if there is God manzeo na kwa na search na Kondani yako and Jesus is the way Thank you Manzi. Hi guys, my name is Salma. I'm Jamara. Representing Kahawas. So basically what we've been up to during this season is connecting with family and reading the Bible. I've had time to read a few novels and to also learn new things. I really miss you guys. I miss chat. I miss our bonding sessions. I miss how 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 us guys are close and I just can't say much but Sundays don't feel like Sundays anymore. I I miss the present worship. I miss the tea session where we socialize with each other and tell each other what we've been up to through the week. So basically what I can tell guys during this season is just keep safe. Uh, remember God's got us. Everything will be fine and remember to always read your Bible every day. Yeah. Pray, stay safe, stay home. Asa, guys, I know that one of the things that we have missed doing, you know, is celebrating in church having a wonderful time worshiping the lord together fellowshipping and hanging out and taking tea and you know having fun i tell you i miss that very much things that we take for granted ah uh, but god is an amazing god because he has given us an opportunity even to come and share with you and so i want you to join with me and felista and the youth worship team as we get to praise and to glorify god let me tell you the bible says i shall not be ashamed of the gospel are you ashamed of the gospel are you ashamed to open your mouth and worship in the street let's take worship into our houses into our homes into our bedrooms wherever you are at put on your earphones stand up you know let's praise the lord together so if you're basi karibu felista and take us through even in this segment of praise and worship glory to god thank you so much pastor joe thank you so much Whatever you are just stand up let's praise let's continue lifting the name of God high amen Oh, oh, oh. 
are so faithful and you're still faithful. Thank you. Because God, you're a friend who sticks closer than our brother Jesus. We love you. We worship you, oh God. Let's thank the Lord for what he's done for us. Thank you for protecting us and our families, even in this difficult time. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for giving us a way. Thank you that we're safe. Thank you that we are protected. Thank you that we are here, Father Lord. Thank you. Thank you for the strength that you've given us. Thank you for everything you've done for us, my God.
Amen. What an awesome time even to worship the Lord wherever we are at. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You are wonderful. You are great. He's an amazing God. Imagine, despite of what is happening, God has kept us strong. Despite of what is going around, we haven't lost our hope. We haven't lost our faith. We haven't lost our trust in the Lord. And I have come to encourage you again that God indeed, he is into the business of taking care of us. I want you to turn to your friend, where you know, your family member, wherever you're at, and tell them you are God's business. And let me just encourage you with a few scriptures and I believe that you will be blessed. Our text today comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 1 and verse 2. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says, the Lord says, the Lord says, the Lord says, come everyone who is dusty, here is water. Come you that have no money, buy grain and eat. Come buy wine and milk. It will cost you nothing. And then he continues to say, why spend money on what does not satisfy? Why spend your wages and still be hungry? Listen to me and do what I say and you will enjoy the food, the best food of all. Come on somebody. I have come to let you know that you are God's business. At this season, during this time, we know that worry is there. We know we're feeling the pressure. Actually now, because things seem to not go back to normal, actually it seems like we are getting worse. The situation is getting worse and worse every minute, every second. And so what happens? Man starts to despair. We despair because we are thinking, what are we going to eat? To whom shall we turn to? Are we even safe? You know what I'm saying? And you're thinking, what do I do? Where, where do I go? To whom do I turn to? What do I do? Do I leave the house? Do I, do I do my normal businesses? What shall I do? And then again, when it comes to the, you know, respect of faith, you're thinking now you're not meeting in church and there are all these other things that are coming, temptations and everything. What do I do? How do I overcome this situation? I've come to let you know that you're not on your own and you are God's business. But even as we are God's business and God is taking care of us, there's something that has stood out and stood out for me in the scriptures that we have read. God says, listen to me and do what I say. Listen to me and do what I say. Listen to me and do what I say. What God is saying, he's saying, listen. Listen to what I'm saying to you in this season. Probably you're in despair and God is saying, do not be anxious. You're thinking, what shall I eat? God is saying, I will take care of you because I am your shepherd. He's saying, I will protect you. God is saying, you're thinking, oh, people have left me. No one is thinking about me. God is saying, I am there with you because I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Listen. Are you listening to what God is saying and are you doing to what he says? Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 37 and verse 4 that delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. I have come to tell you today that the only way we are going to overcome uh, the situation we are in right now, uh, how we are going to overcome the pandemic, how we are going to overcome all the other things that have come with this pandemic is by us delighting in the Lord. And God is saying, listen to me. Do what I say and you shall have the best. He says, delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Listen, for the Lord satisfies the longing heart, the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Psalms 107 and verse 8. Come on, somebody. <laughs> young man, young woman, you have to remember the only way we are going to stay sane, the only way we are going to overcome this pandemic, the only way we are going to overcome the presence of life, we need God on our side. But even as we need him on our side, what should we do? We should be listening and we should be doing what he's saying. That means you are investing in your relationship with God you are reading your scriptures, you are reading your Bible, you are you're reading, you are investing in the, you, in the presence of the Holy Spirit. You are connecting with Him. You are connecting with Him in every way, in prayer, in reading the Word, in fellowship. And I tell you, you will hear His voice and His voice is going to direct you in the right path of your life. Actually, 
Psalm says, Psalms chapter 1, that blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the seats of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And I have come to ask you tonight, stop looking at what people are saying. Stop, stop listening to those news that they will, you know, bring down your spirits and you will feel, ah! What, what is happening? And you're thinking, oh man, we, we, will, we will all die. No, we will not. Because God, once we take delight in him, he takes care of us. You know, the Bible is saying, why should you, why should you spend your money on what cannot satisfy? Why spend your wages and still be hungry? Listen to the Lord and he will fulfill the desires of your heart. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This time and season, take time, build your relationship with God, connect with him, and he shall guide you in the right direction. You are God's business and he's taking care of you. But as he's taking care of you, take time to build your relationship with him and I know you will be blessed. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful time. Lord, we know that you're taking care of us. But Lord, O King of Glory, many a times that we are not conscious that indeed you are there with us. And Lord, O King of Glory, we despair because you are thinking that Lord, everything is working against us. But you have promised us in your scriptures and your word that King of Glory, everything happens for good to them that love you and those who are called in accordance to your purposes. And as my Father, we know that we are called in accordance to your purposes. And we love you and we know that you're taking care of us. My God and Lord, I pray that you open our ears even to hear what you are saying in this season, that we may be able to respond in obedience and to respond positively. And King of glory, we know for sure that when we delight ourselves in you, my God, you will fulfill the desires of our hearts. And Lord, the greatest desire we have is to overcome this pandemic. It is to overcome this pressure. Give us the ability and the power and the strength and the grace to persevere and to go through and to walk in obedience. Lord, as we delight ourselves in your word, King of glory, take care of our businesses, take care of our lives, protect us, you know, provide for us and make sure, my Father, that we overcome this pandemic in this season. In the name of Jesus, I pray and I believe. Amen and amen. Yes! You are God's business. But even as he's taking care of you, remember, delight yourself in the Lord. Listen to what he's saying and walk in obedience. Glory to God. <laughs> All right, we are almost coming to the end of our hangout tonight. But even as we leave, let us know where you are watching us from. Please comment on our comment section. Big up someone, big up your family. And I believe we are now what are blessed. Now, last week we gave a challenge, a TikTok challenge. Yes. And I know most of you don't know what, <laughs> don't know what that is. Actually, you're trying to find out what is that thing that, you know, Pastor Joe is talking about. Yes, this something called TikTok and it's an amazing app where you get to upload or do music and all other stuff and so we, we, we posted these on our timeline uh, on our Facebook page that you needed to do a TikTok video share it on our on our page and the video that will have the highest number of viewers then that person is going to win themselves data bundles but but then again the challenge is still on but we want to add another challenge of that now this is what i want you guys to do i want you to share a watch party whatever time between now and next service actually between now and friday share a watch party of this video of this wonderful hangout and the the, the, the watch party that will have the highest number of people that person is going to win themselves um a wonderful package gift from chicken in glory to god we will be letting you know who that person is and what they have won themselves glory to god may the lord bless you may the lord keep you amen and amen shalom see you next tuesday but keep remembering that you are god's business do what he says and you shall have the best amen bless